Hi and welcome to Text Nation TV. This week it's about, that's right, the Samsung Galaxy 3, Facebook, and, well, one of our favorite companies, Revision 3, was bought out. We're next. <laughs> So this week, like I said, the biggest news was the release of the Samsung Galaxy 3. Remember this photo? Yeah, we wanted that, that's not what we got. No, and that's probably why a lot of us, and we're not the only ones, we're not as impressed with this model that they introduced. Yeah, here, here's the thing. HTC just released the HTC One. X and S. There's two different versions if you don't know anything about it. I think one's for AT&T, one's for T-Mobile. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a slight differences between the two. I think there's a different processor, maybe different. I'm not I'm not too sure on those. Don't quote me on that. But one's T-Mobile, one's AT&T. That's, that's the basic difference. But it's, it's the newest HTC smartphone that's out there. And here's the thing that I have a problem with. Mm -hmm. Every single release from here until they change it is all going to be the same. It's going to be a candy bar style you know, camera on the back. We're stuck right now in the 8 megapixels. Somebody needs to jump up to 12 or 14. Well, Nokia. Well, we're not going to count Nokia because they, did, they didn't do a jump. They did a freaking leap. Hey, let's get in a plane, fly about 5 miles that way, and land there. They went with 41 megapixels. So, you know, I, oh, around 12. Yeah, we'll say 12 next be the next jump or 14, something like that. It's it's always in the middle, somewhere in the back. Both of, all of them will have dual LED. Yep. You know, you're going to have the front facing camera at the top right or top left, however they make it. It's going to be skinny. It's going to be a quad core processor until they start making six core processors for phones. It's going to be, you know, HD video shooting. It's going to look like an iPhone. Except for the fact that iPhone 5 is yet to be released and it's still rumors until we see something in the fall of 20, 2012. Because but if it looks like this, we're buying. Yeah, have you seen this guy? It's a Frenchman who come up with this design, and I think he took rumors and things like that, matched with actual design, mm -hmm. and kind of put what he could together. Apple, pay attention to this guy. If not, hire him, please. Because I know you probably haven't made the body of it yet. You're probably working on inner workings of changing it. Or, you know, I, you've got plenty of time between you've got almost six months yeah you know between now and then before you you know it's May now that's June July August September October all you know we're talking four or five months so you know maybe it takes that long for production I don't know but I just think that now would be the time to pay attention to this guy because that liquid metal uh, the rumor today was uh, metal backing which I'm not too keen on so we'll, yeah. we'll see what happens um, but yeah the Samsung Galaxy 3 it's another skinny phone. Mm -hmm. It's just as skinny as the HTC One, or as one of my friends at work has the HT, not HTC, the Droid Razor Max. It's a skinny phone. They're all going to be skinny from this point out. And what do we change now? We've reached yeah, that next plateau, you know, because every phone's going to be the same. You got to get thicker, or you got to get smaller, or bigger, like the Galaxy Note. Yes. Because I mean, next thing you know, like Alan, you know, we're all going to be doing this with our phones. That's great. I can't see anybody. I don't, you know, I'm talking to somebody. I don't need to see around me. <laughs> or while I'm driving. I don't need to see, you know. Yeah, so the only thing is, though, this was kind of funny. I was watching this as the live blogging was going on. 1080p shoots video that you can watch and edit, but the screen is still 1280 by 720. So you're, Useless. Yeah, you're still not getting a full HD experience on this screen. Not to say that the Super AMOLED screen that's coming on this phone is not great because it looks great. It's still a Samsung display. Exactly. I think though the the thing that they're trying to sell you on is features. I saw more features talked about yes. today, like the picture in picture, uh, which S is S voice, S beam, S this, S that, S you, S me, <laughs> S voice. Where did they get that from? Siri. Yeah. I mean, the basic idea. Can you get another letter? <laughs> they they said that it was invented for hu or designed for humans because they want you to be able to talk to your phone and control everything. One of the things was, if you're in the middle of texting someone and you're like, you know what, ah, I, this is too much, I'm gonna call them, like Alan does all the time. Mm -hmm. You just pick your phone up, put it to your ear, and it automatically calls them because it knows that you're wanting to be in the middle of that conversation without texting. And on the video, it was like, the dad dozed off, the phone turned off. How does it know when I fall asleep? It's, it's weird, they say it sleeps when you sleep, 
and it's awake when you're awake, all by visual eye tracking. So what it's doing is it's watching your eyes, and if it doesn't see any sort of, I'm, I'm assuming that it's looking for red eye because most cameras, every time they take pictures of me, I get red eyed. So it's looking for red eyes of some sort, and it's just you know motion tracking basically and facial recognition. It's I'm assuming. really creepy. We just wanted that first one that we saw back in February. Right. It was really huge. It was just a display. We didn't care about if it knew when we were awake and knew when we were sleeping. I don't need a phone to be Santa. They, they are doing something cool, though. They're doing the NFC slash Wi-Fi mixed together type thing. That was good, yes. For bonding, as they call it, instant bonding, so that you can trade. Yeah, using S-Beam as well. And trading contact information, pictures, instant yeah. video. Let's say the two of us and your wife and I had a girlfriend, let's say, because that's never going to happen. But let's say the four of us were in a room, and I found a video, and I said, hey, guys, look at this. <laughs> you know, like a deck of cards, basically, and I can go watch this video, and it's out to everybody, and everybody sees it. Yeah. That's cool in that factor, but how many times are you going to be sitting in the same room with the, this group of people with the same phone? You know, that is the hardest thing to come by, yeah. because everybody has so many, you know, choices to choose from. You know, there's reasons why people like Motorola phones. There's reasons why people like Samsung phones. There's people that will never, ever touch another phone but Apple, you Apple fanboys. I, I Look here, I have an HTC, I have a Windows phone, I've got them all, except for a Droid. That's the only one I haven't had yet. So, But, no, no, I'm just saying, it's hard to sit down and have the same, uh, yeah, or, yeah, that just went out. But it's hard to have the same phone across the board for everything. So, yeah. I mean, it's a cool feature, but it's just kind of awkward that, you know, you're never going to sit down in the same room. So, a lot of cool features. Check it out. It's on multiple websites, any of those websites you can find that have it up. It's Samsung Galaxy 3, got announced today. Be sure to look for them at a mall near you. <laughs> one, one other big thing uh, for people who are on the social world, Facebook today, they're looking to get started. I think there, there's, there's been a couple different things. I think they're starting May the 7th, mm -hmm. but not being uh, public until May 17th and going public at that point. They're working on the notes of the yeah, IPO, working. basically. And it's looking to range at $85 to $95 per share, starting out. So that is multi-billions of dollars for $85 and $95 a share. I've heard realistically it's probably going to be 30, about $30 starting. So realistically, yeah. you know, real terms actually their, hits the market. Their valuations before have went down. Okay. Now. So yeah, because they were over $100 billion before. Yeah. And the fact that they just spent a billion on Instagram purchasing yeah. that program and the fact, and here's the other thing, something they just announced on Good Morning America. If you missed this, uh, you can now become an organ donor via your Facebook page uh, just by going to your life events and clicking on organ donor. See, he even missed this. If you can click on organ no, donor. What if, say you're in a bad relationship, she finds out, you, you know, she knows your password to your Facebook. And Why all. are you giving? No, no. I, I haven't given anybody anything. Okay. I'm saying, hey, Women are sneaky, and men you know, don't go there. Um, but they find out your password and organ donor. You're an organ donor now, and they kill you because they know their brother needs a, a kidney. I don't think that was the overall intent of this. I that think is the, exactly the intent. There They're was working in. There was good intent with the pharmaceutical companies. There was. They may be. For all <laughs> I know, but there was good intent behind it because. I think the idea was that it's a life-saving thing because Facebook is so ubiquitous across everything. There are a very small number of people, I would say one out of every 10 people do not use Facebook. And I know five of them offhand that I can count. Matter of fact, our audience is raising his hand right now. So I'm And just, my parents. <laughs> there are very few people. I, I'm sure if you were to take 50 people, five of those people would not be on Facebook. But the other nine out of ten, they're all on it. They're on it every day. I'm on it every day. I flood people with stuff. And they're on it unsecured. No, uh, HTTPS was actually defaulted no, way back. The guy at Best Buy gave his phone to the, well, to he the gave sales it, rep. He, he left it unlocked. And look, the guy, the poor guy, yeah, okay, that, that was. That was a good example. But 
the thing was the guy handed it to him without logging out of anything, exactly. without doing anything. Well, first of all, don't hand your phone over to anybody for repairs. Especially or Best Buy. <laughs> Geek Squad, any of those people. Don't hand your phone over without erasing your stuff first and letting them fix it, and you just back it up off on your PC or something. Yeah, do that first. But, no, no, no. So, yeah, I, I seriously think Facebook had good intent about the whole thing, you know. So, well, you know, everybody uses it at this point. You yeah. can say that as a generic, general term. It doesn't involve everyone, obviously, because I know people that don't and will never touch it with a 10-foot pole. So, but one last story that we want to tell you about is actually one of my favorite, favorite podcasts. And I shouldn't say podcast, but one of my favorite internet television companies mm -hmm. was purchased today. And it was Revision 3. If you don't know anything about Revision 3, it's basically nothing but video podcasts online that you can subscribe to via iTunes, any RSS reader. Um, I want to say Mimeo, Mimeo, Mimeo. I can't remember. Mimeo. Sure. Mimeo, I don't know. But it's something close to Vimeo, but it's with an M. And I, I want to say it's Mimeo. Mimeo. I, I don't know. But something there's, like there's something like that. Any, Basically, any of your video receivers... Uh, the Boxy Box will get them. They have an app for that. Uh, the Roku Box, they have an app for that. They have an app for the iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch. I'm sure they have a Windows Phone in the makings. Uh, Android. Pretty much any device. Yeah, pretty much any device that can play video. The Xbox, I don't know if they have one for the Xbox, but I know that I can get it through uh, a TV uh, app called T-Versity. But yeah, Revisions 3 has been around for a very long time. It actually got started with Kevin Rose and Dan Hewer doing The Broken. Uh, way, way back in the day where they were just sitting on a couch, drinking beer, and talking about what they wanted to talk about. And mm -hmm. then they also had another show called System. Was it System then, or was it... Uh, I, don't, I don't... It may have been something before System, I want to say, because they were taking computers and S shooting them. System was the one that got, I think, more attention. Right. Because I think that was after the fact. I think there was one... That's where I learned... That, that's where I learned war driving. Yeah. I, I think some, there was something that precursed system but you know they've been around for a very long time they've i think 2005 2006 is when they got started and just said hey look here's my video because they had just gotten off of screen kevin rose and alex albrecht had just gotten off screen savers mm -hmm. they were starting up dan heward uh had done work with them at g4 or tech tv or whatever it was back in the day um so you know they've been around for a long time they've got what five ten flagship shows that they use techzilla yeah. uh app judgment um, scam school. It, it, scam school. It used to be Dignation. Dignation's no longer in uh, in uh, flow anymore. Uh, there was a couple comedy podcasts. There's been all sorts of things that have been in and out of Revision 3 that they've tried and things that work, things that haven't worked. So I'd like to say for me as a huge fan and a previous Street Team member, congratulations, they were bought by Discovery Channel. They bought them out for $30 million. And I, and I, I hate to see, use the phrase bought them out. Yeah. But purchased Revision 3 for $30 million. So congratulations to you guys. We think that's great. And I hope that my previous street team member status helps me out in any way, shape, form, or fashion if, if later on down the road you guys ever want to pick the show up. So Yeah. So Discovery Channel, hopefully, we don't know all the details just yet, but you, yeah. you could start seeing you know Revision 3 shows on this Discovery Channel. And then through Netflix. Let's hope that's the way it goes. They work together because you know what happens when corporations buy small things. Right. Because when News Corp bought MySpace, that's pretty much it. That's Which, what. another story, who just bought Dig or is about to buy Dig or something along those lines? Oh, the Washington Journal? Yeah, Washington Post or Washington yeah. Journal. They're looking to buy Dig. So, yeah. we, of course, him and I both used to be big Dig users before version 4. And version 4 is kind of where everything kind of went downhill. So uh, that was another venture that didn't work out for them so much as well. But uh, uh, Matt Williams, the CEO now of DIG, uh, I hope everything goes well for you, sir. Uh, and the best to you. And I hope that Revision 3 takes off as well. And you guys do great. Yep. Um, make sure to stay tuned. We actually got to sit down with Kickstarter Project Mastermind, Charles Waugh. We actually did an interview with him. Actually, myself, I got to sit down. Alan was doing the great camera work. Thank you very much for that. Um, but I got to sit down with Charles Waugh from the Kickstarter Project Slingshot. Uh, 
stay tuned for that. It's not going to be a full-on episode. Well, it'll be its own episode. It just won't yeah, be. It, 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 we don't want you to sit through this. If you have, congratulations. <laughs> then sit through that. Yeah. Which is a great interview. He's a great guy. And that's why we look disarrayed right now, not in our usual setup. Because we just got finished actually talking to him about... 20 minutes ago. Yeah. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Also, go to kickstarter.com if you didn't see the text minute last week. There's a lot of great things on there. The slingshot, the the pebble watch, the steely, the bridge. I mean, we can go on and on and on. Kickstarter is a great place to go. Mother's Day is coming up. Don't get her crap. <laughs> Which, by the way, just a reminder, I did get my mother, my mother the uh, what was Geo uh, digital wallet for the iPhone 4. Now she has to get an iPhone 4, or I'll get a 4S and give her my 4. Anyway, you can follow us online, textnation.tv. Facebook.com slash textnationtv. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash textnationtv. And Google Plus at G2... G plus T... Oh, yeah. Uh, make sure you can subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash textnationtv. Oh, yeah, YouTube, that's an important one. Well, what's the important one to you? Because I'm never going to say it. Oh, we also have a Pinterest page, pinterest.com slash TV. He takes care of every bit of that because I will never touch it with a 10-foot pole. So thank you very much for taking care of that. We will see you again for episode number 40. Uh, we're getting over the hill. So yeah, thanks very much for watching.